Hola, everybody! This is Dave, and this is another episode of Shorties here on the Base Channel. And today, we're looking at the Junior Jet 2 G2220 from Gretsch. I'm just going to get, uh, I'm just going to address the elephant in the room right now. The last time many of you saw a Gretsch Junior Jet on this channel, it was, um, well, it was falling off a wall and making, and I quote, that great Gretsch sound. That's a lot of technical mumbo jumbo. Basically what it means. Okay. The last episode of Shorties was kind of a downer because we had a bass that, you know, simply was Shut just, up. was just, the peanut gallery just yelled it sucked. And yeah, I mean, it did. It, but you know what? They can't all be gems. Thankfully, this one is. We really like this bass. Uh, it sounds good. It feels good. It's just a simple bass that is everything that we could have hoped for and more considering the price point. So, do you want a short scale that kind of looks like a Les Paul, that kind of has that vintage cachet, that also sounds very modern and clean? Then this might be the base for you. The Junior Jet has a 30.3 inch scale, so it's slightly different than other short scales. It's got a basswood body, it's got a maple neck. Neither of those is very uncommon uh, in the bass world, especially in the budget bass world. But the fingerboard, is this nice and dark piece of wood. It's not ebony, it's not rosewood, it's not palfaro, it's black walnut. And um, I mean, that's, that's different and it's cool. I'm a big fan of walnut myself. But yeah, it's a bit of a different thing than you're probably used to. Um, I haven't seen very many bases with black walnut fretboards, have you? It's got two humbuckers that are identical to one another. It's got a three-way switch to pick between the neck pickup, the bridge pickup, or both. It's got one volume and one tone. It's got a standard bent metal plate bridge. It's got sealed tuners. They're just, you know, um, off-the-shelf, run-of-the-mill tuners. It's not, not fancy hip shots or anything. <laughs> One of the things that I really liked right out of the box, and literally right out of the box, well, besides the conspiracy theory packaging. So uh, apparently a conspiracy theory must have packed this base because it even came with its own tinfoil hat. 
was the neck shape. The neck shape is really nice. It's got this kind of a wide, flat thing going on. The fretboard is a 12 inch radius, so it's a little bit flatter than your fender alikes, your fender shaped objects. Uh, but it's not quite as flat as, say, the Maruschik and Mensinger bases that we did a couple episodes ago. The 12 inch radius is actually the same as the Gibson bases. All Gibson bases? For the most part, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. The headstock on this base is a tilt back, which does not have a volute or volute, but it does have a nice wide scarf joint here, so it should be all right. Just uh, be careful that you don't drop it, or else you might have a Les Paul incident. So final thoughts from me, um, <laughs> I, I really like this bass a lot more than I thought I would. And even though I've seen a lot of praise for this bass model, uh, you know, on talk bass and other forums like that, I didn't know or I didn't expect, I didn't anticipate how much I would like it myself. I really like the way it feels. I really like the way it sounds. And, you know, if you want, it's a $300 bass. If you want to mod it, you want to add some nicer hardware or some fancy electronics or whatever. It could only really go up from here, but I think it's in a great place as it is, and I would buy one of these myself. I'm actually thinking about getting one, maybe in a different color. Comes in this really kick-ass olive green. So that is the Gretsch G2220 Junior Jet 2, and we enjoyed it. So that's going to wrap it up for me and a pleasantly surprising episode of Shorties. And I also want to mention one more thing very briefly. We got our first non-musical entity sponsor in the form of Regalo Hot Sauce. I just tried it today and really enjoy it. So if you want to pick up a, uh, a bottle for yourself, check the links down below. Uh, in addition to our normal links to Zounds and everything else. So. That's going to do it for us here at the Base Channel. My name is Dave. Uh, tell us what you thought in the comments below. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. We got a letter from a little girl in upstate New York. And a viewer writes, basically what it means, what the fuck happened to that base? <laughs> that great Gretsch sound. <laughs>